Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are continuing our Sparta campaign in RTR Imperium Surrectum. And we are here. We had a pretty good episode, I would say, last time. Pretty nice. Eotrocles, I've just realised, is 27 with 8 command. That's very nice indeed. Well done, my friend. You've done a decent job. We did some good defensive uh, defensive uh, battles last time. Uh, and we fought the Suebi and they ran away before we killed. We killed quite a lot of them. It was like a third or a half, something like that, of their army. As you can see, this army is damaged, so I'm assuming part of that army that we killed last time has merged up with a newer army. And they are ready to take us on. We have more soldiers, but they, for some reason, the balance of forces are evenly matched. It looks to me like it favours them, and I'm not quite sure why. Um, but we will have to use all our advantages in this with the Phalangites, because we will not have cavalry advantage. Our cavalry took an absolute beating in the last battle. Eotrocles, I'm pretty sure, is a... Infantry general, but yes, we got a lot of stuff sorted last time, didn't we? We've got our defensive areas, our defensive sieges that we are going to sort out. And uh, we are going to take over Rome and then move into Anatolia, where we can start reclaiming Alexander's legacy. I mean, we kind of have surpassed Alexander's legacy once we've taken Rome, I guess. Uh, but that's... It's a, it's a different type of legacy, I guess, that we'll be leaving behind as the glorious Spartans. Anyway, guys, I've rambled on enough, haven't I? So let us get into this battle. Sigma has eight command. One influence, though, so that's not great. Four command and two influence for the other one. We have a lot more influence, so we should be a lot more influential on the battlefield. If we can take these guys out early, that would be perfect. And for some reason, the AI does have a tendency to enjoy charging into phalanxes. So, <laughs> let's hope that happens. We'll take a nice defensive position. But remember, the battle map wasn't that defensive. It wasn't a great defensive battle map. But we'll find a nice place to defend. Probably similar place to last time. Anyway, guys, enough rambling. I'll see you on the battle map. Here we are, guys. Tonight, we will feast and drink. Tonight, we will tell each other tales of our bravery. Yes, we will. Before that, we must beat our foes and show them why we are the heirs of Alexander and Achilles. Hmm. Not so sure the Suebi are too interested in whether we're the heirs of Alexander and Achilles, but <laughs> we can still show them nonetheless what the heirs of Alexander and Achilles can do. And when we take a different... Uh, I mean, it worked over that side last time, but kind of like this hill. So let's go over here. We're going to move backwards, so we might as well have them turned already. You guys there, cavalry. We'll probably uh, try block the side. And where is the edge of the map? Right up here. And about there on the corner. So, thinking, where's the edge? There's the edge. So, let us get up on the hill. There we are. And let's get our archers. I mean, will the archers fit behind? That is a question. They will, so they will be able to fire over their heads. And we only need cavalry on this 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 flank. Ah, 
Going to be a bit of a tough job to fit them in. So we might have to move the uh, the line forward. Even though it's nice being on that hill. There, get there. Get our boys nicely spread. Guys there. There they come. One problem is we're going to find it hard to see what's going on in the battle. There we go. I have to put the cavalry like that, unfortunately. Uh, get there would be ideal. Gonna have to get really low to be able to see what's happening in the battle. Because if I come up, cannot see. I mean, they're coming kind of diagonally towards us. So I'm thinking maybe... Oh, this is the old maneuver phase, isn't it? We love a bit of maneuvering, don't we, around here? So let's get there. Get you boys there. Then I think you guys can like fit behind a little bit better. Let's see? No, not really. <laughs> Why don't we just get our cavalry over here? I just don't want them to be caught out. I think they're in a decent position there. Nice. Yes, we've got the hill. Very nice. Should be able to fire over their heads. I mean, we can even come further down. And we've got more of a hill. I'm thinking, uh, let's not maneuver anymore too much. There's no point. They went for the night battle. Kind of cinematic. I like it. Very nice. There comes one of the generals. Is that the other general? No, it's not. Who are you then? Another Freeman cavalry. Another Freeman Cavalry. So their other general must be you. Yes, it is. Frame and Swords. Starting to fire. Very nice. If he wants to charge, that's absolutely fantastic. He's going to throw his jabbies. That, to me, is no problem whatsoever. Everyone get in there. Sure, we'll get rid of him. Dispatch him quickly. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. You should not be firing there anymore. Guys, fire here. Make sure all the archers are on guard mode. So whoever I tell them to fire at. Uh, kind of stuck with the cavalry over here for now. Go, 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 go. Ah, uh, they're going to get the charge off. Well, this, this is quite hard to see, really, what's going on. I'm not going to lie. Oh, we're savaging that general. All right, cavalry over there. We're not going to need you for a little while. So they're going to fire off their jabbies, which they did last time. Then they ran away once they'd fired off their jabbies. Quite a clever tactic, if you ask me. Ah, that's one of our cavalry gone. Unfortunate. Fire your jabbies, guys. That's absolutely fine. Apart from you, Eatro, please. Shoot that general. Take you off uh, fire as well. Okay, good. That cavalry's completely gone now. Firing their jabbies. Not doing a huge amount of damage. Oh, look at this. Poor general has just been savaged by our, our uh, archers like to see that they can fire their jabbies all they want we've got a nice bit of armor we'll lose a few in the front line but as you can see it's not doing a huge amount of damage which is great to see for us a lot of jabbies that are going to come our way but doesn't particularly matter we're also because we're above them at the back here we're not hitting any of our own men which is great <gasps> this general's down to two Two whole men. The single, the general is just left. Where is he going? <gasps> He's dead. <laughs> Fantastic. Where is the other general then? He's in this blob somewhere. There we are. Come and attack us, guys. Stop firing your jabbies. It's not really hugely... Important. The reason why I don't want to move our guys forward is when they when they move forward. I mean, we're in defense to start with. And when they like move forward, it's a lot harder to, to manage their positioning. 
and manage how they're doing positioning wise. Oh, we've killed a lot and that's all down to the archers. Now they'll charge. Oh, well I thought they were going to charge, but no. Are they on skirmish mode? Do they have skirmish mode as spearmen? I don't think they, they should or do. Where is that general? Where is that general gone? Is he... Oh my days! We've decimated this general as well. Fantastic. Oh, they'll want to they'll wanna rout very soon. Or withdraw. I think we've killed him. Yeah, we have. Tutorus and Sigma. Tudorus, sorry. <laughs> Tudorus the Teuton. Toyton, or whatever you want to say. Very nice. Very perplexed by this uh, Suebian tactic. See, they just stand there. They're supposed to be attacking me. I mean, it's not really working for them, is it? This tactic. They've thrown their javis now. You've all thrown your javis. Oh, they're withdrawing again. Oh, that's that's just annoying. Oh well. Let's get in the back of some of them. They tend to they'll tend to want to rout, I think, now. Ah, oh, god damn it. We killed half of them again. Come on, get a charge in. Oh, they're steady now. Ah, oh, god damn it. Oh, come on, Cav. I mean, all we really want to do is scare them away anyway. If we got a proper charge in there, we would have smashed them, but... Oh, that's the edge of the map. I mean, they are crushed. But there's just... Uh, we lost 80 men. We killed 778. Nice 10 to 1. Very nice. Well, close to 10 to 1 anyway. Archers doing all the damage, basically. Well done. I don't know how some of these Phalangites got some kills, honestly. <laughs> well done. Good anyway. Fantastic. Took a... Yeah, took... That, those jabbies are just, just not damaging us. Very weird how the Suebi both times have decided that they don't want to attack us. <laughs> attack our lines. Anyway, guys, uh, we'll see you on the uh, campaign map at the end turn. Here we are, guys. So, uh, Suebi haven't come back again. Makes sense. Well done, Sirakis. You've taken two forts that are just going to die. There's, there's literally no point. Okay, Rome. It's got a spy going somewhere. Ah, oh, Pergamon. Welcome back. We've got our defensive army nearby, so that's absolutely fine. And the whole point of the defensive army. What? Are they going straight for the attack? Okay. How? That's the question. The question is how? Hmm. Well, they might take this then. How? The gate's opened by a spy? Or I don't see siege equipment or artillery. Ah, well. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the uh, battle map. Here we are, guys. Uh, it's because, yeah, I, 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 I was thinking that while it was loading that it was because we didn't repair the walls. That's my fault. Should have 100% repaired those walls. Uh, but the, I can't help but think that this is a good thing. We're going to trap a Pergamon army, a full stack Pergamon army, in uh, one place. Which will be nice, because I'm just going to... Like, there's nothing else to do apart from, basically, uh, stick our defensive army just sieging this down. If we if we get attacked at Byzantium, that's fine. We, we'll, uh, we'll go for the bloody battle and uh, take, take the city. But... I don't think we will get attacked at Byzantium. Hopefully we won't. Anyway, before we siege this out, we'll just siege it out. There's no point pushing the issue. It basically bottlenecks bottle Pergamon into uh, Lysimachia, which is great for us. I don't know where they're going. Which... What a strange way to go. Okay, here they come. 
Yeah, all we need to do is just kill as many as we can. Nice bit of mercenary phalangites who are pretty decent. 19 melee attack. If we kill their general, that would be an unbelievably good result for us. That's one general. They've got two. This is their second one. That'd be great if we killed them. Okay, they are starting to push through now, as you can see. It's mainly the cavalry that allow them to push through, which is always strange to me because... Cavalry should not be able to push through phalangites, right? They're already very tired as well. Great. Oh, they've really pushed through now. That's uh, unfortunate. That was the cavalry that did all of that. And these guys are getting pushed as well. How many have we killed? He's dead. We've hardly even killed a hundred. Well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? As I say, this might work out well for us. Because we'll just trap this army inside Lysa Market. Anyway, I will see you on the campaign map, guys. Here we are, guys. Now let's see what they do. The one thing we can't allow is them to flood through here. So they need to be sieged down ASAP. Straight away. Remember, we could actually go for them straight away because of the walls, as we see. But there's no point destroying our army on their walls. We'll just chill. They might even uh, sally out, which would be amazing result for us. I mean, the Ptolemies might come for Byzantium. But we have plenty of armies in the region. So, right... Ecopolis, my friend. Um, so we need three cavalry. Has everyone got their armor upgrades? Yes, they have. Fantastic. So we need three more cavalry. I'm thinking we'll take the Thessalian lancers and the Spartan cavalry. Good. Very good indeed. Very nice army, this. And let us get across to the Admiral. And we'll send you across to Rome very soon. Now, who else do we have to worry about in terms of armies? We're coming back. Let's get you all retrained. Uh, yeah, let's retrain everyone. Ambrakia, what about Thermont? Let's get you guys up to Bailazora for some retraining for some more cavalry. Could do with some more Thessalian lancers if there are any available. No, they're not, unfortunately. Anyway, we've got them uh, stuck in Lysomachia, which is great. Now, this is what defense is all about, guys. It's, it's a bit of give, it's a bit of take. It's um, You don't need to always defend exactly on the line that you were originally. You can defend nice, uh, nicely pretty far away. Uh, you can retreat in defense. That's absolutely fine. Look no further than the lines of Torres Vedras. If I'm, if that's the right, is that how we, how you say it? Uh, in the Peninsula War in Portugal. Do not look further than that. And you will find the idea of how retreating can lead to victory. Very accomplished defenses over there in the Peninsula War. Um, right then, well while they're a bit angry. Okay, you are joining them. But we might as well send this... Uh, get it cavalry? Yeah, that, that gets them happy. So this defensive army... Let's get you up here. Build a watchtower. And that's just... Yeah, we can see pretty much everything we need to see now. Get you up. And what we might do... We might split this army between two forts. One there and one there. And then they can't even get across this river. You can get across it there, but there's a settlement right in the way. Right. Cleonimos, my good friend, my favorite general, my favorite lord of the land. You are coming back to Pella. Uh, Pella. Can we rename the city? Yes, we can. Hmm. So, Rome. Ha <laughs> ha! I think we have a new name for Rome, don't we? When we're ready. Right, so let's have a look. This army, pretty damaged. Needs to move. 
This army... Ah, uh, yes. So, this army's decent. We go for Capua, I'd say. We might get attacked by this army, but that's fine. I like defensive battles against the Romans. They're very, very nice. So, three of those, a couple of... Uh, four of those, and a sat point. You guys can now get into Venusia. Good. Uh, we need... Should go really attack them. Get rid of them. Oh, hello, uh, Carthage. Go after Pyston, my friend. I will be very happy with that. Hmm. I need to budge these guys out the way. So, for for the time being, we'll leave you in Tarento. Ah, oh, messed that up. Okay, these two can come to the, uh, Malaventum. No, get out. You guys get in Malaventum. Yeah, they're happy enough. You need to come back on a ship. You're bogged down. Have we got any more ships along here? Five turns at Ancona left. That's plenty of time. Any more ships nearby? We've got this Admiral. Um, might get you there. And we'll send you on there. And then we'll send you back across to Pella for retraining. So, we have the army at Ancona defending. Have this army going after Capua. We have an army in Croton, which we need to leave and go and attack them. We won't do it this turn because our Cryptia won't be able to reach. Uh, I, I don't think they'll be able to reach. So we'll do it next turn. And they might move out of the way naturally anyway. You're going back. So we've got two armies left. This is the third army coming across. So we'll have three armies back on the peninsula. Four armies with that one. In terms of the armies up here, we've got our defensive army up here. Yes. You are going to be the defensive army when a Sanka falls, which will be soon. Kadava. Defensive army over here is there. Army in Pella is getting retrained. Very nice. You're going up to Bailazora for retraining as well. So, and we're training guys in Sparta, Athens, Thermon, and Ambrachia. Very good. Cleonimos is coming back for retraining. You are going to build some forts here and here. You are building towers. Once you've done that, I think I think Tyras might be the option. Uh, yeah, Tyras might be the option for you. So, Ancona. Merchants died. Couldn't care less. Eotrocles has got good commander. Very good. It's weird, when you load in a, in a new uh, a save that ended on the end turn, it doesn't show you your construction or your recruitment. But Sparta. Oh, let's, of course, go for the uh, script here. Yeah, we just have one guy at Sparta. Good. Gortina. Gortina is kind of pointless. There's still Romans there, and these rebels have been there for so long. Captain Antigonus. Was he a Rhodian? I think he was Rhodian. They want to reclaim their homelands, but <laughs> I'm sorry. You're not going to be able to. Let's get the shrine to Ares. Argos, which is actually a huge city. Let's go for the academy. We have a guy in there, so we might as well get him some upgrades. Pella. Mm, Pella. Go for the awesome temple of Artemis. Hmm. I, mean, I think so. I think so. Philippopolis. Uh, Philippopolis. What do we want? Let's go for the Lyceum, I think. Make sure we're getting the uh, happiness up in all our places. Ayada. Let's go for... Hmm. I mean, Zeus isn't great, but that's fine. Arestia. Go for paved roads. We need to. We need paved roads in in everywhere we can really. Tylus. Hmm. Tylus. Go for that. Uh, Tyras. Up here. Let's go for. I mean, what's the breakdown? I mean, we can start converting them. I think we go for happiness first though. So let's get the Odeon. Tyras, and then we have Croton. 
Did we destroy their buildings? Yes, we did. Croton, let's go for the large temple of Hera. And then Mytonium, although it's under siege. Uh, it's not under siege. It's just rebelling. Let's get those roads. There's no point not having roads up here. They only take one turn anyway. I think that's everything we want to do this uh, turn, isn't it? Yeah, we've got some big garrisons up here that could really do with something else. Really surprised by the Sarakis. They're really bothered by these forts. And they, they have very, very weak armies. Go and find yourself a homeland so that you can build up your armies again, guys. And, and preferably away from us. <laughs> preferably away from us. Look on the map. It's really hard to tell whose is whose land over here. Anyway, let's end the turn, guys, again. And see what happens. Ah, okay. The Ptolemies have come and attacked. But if we remember last time, we absolutely destroyed them in the battle. So I don't think it will be too much to ask to destroy them once again. Okay. Something just died. Oh, Pergamon! How did you get all the way round? Oh, hello. 81 of these boys. That's a huge unit of cavalry. Genuinely massive. I mean, it's a defensive battle. So I think we'll be fine. These guys, this defensive army does need a bit of retraining after this, though. But we'll see whether we... I think we'll still be able to defeat the Egyptians. But we shall see, guys. Anyway, I will see you on the glorious battle map. This may be a good day to die. Here we are. And the AI decided that it would fight the battle in the rain. Great. So sorry about that, guys. You're going to be uh, watching the rainy battle, which will be hard for you to see. But... Uh, so they attack from the right. So I'm thinking they'll come from the left. Where's a good little place? I mean, there's this little ridge. It's not the greatest of ridges that I've ever seen. But it is a ridge, nonetheless. <laughs> Very wide stance there for the boys. Let's get you guys left flank. Let's get you guys right flank. Actually, no. You guys right flank. We need... Got more space this side, so it's a bit better to, uh, probably more likely that they'll attack there. And get you guys up ahead. Get you on guard mode. Are you all on guard mode? Yes, you are. And then Echopolis. It is Echopolis. No, it's Protus. Sorry, Protus. So many generals we have right now. Right, so let's uh, rearrange the boyos. Probably like that. Very wide stance we have there, but hmm, is it too wide? I don't think so, because they've got a pretty large army. Oh, look at them with their cav going all the way around that side. We'll bring Protus to the flank. He can deal with the cav as well. And we'll bring our cav out behind. Not too keen on taking that cav fight on this right flank without infantry support. Look at these guys. Let's see how good they are. 30, 20 morale, pretty good. Uh, 16 attack, 38 charge, pretty decent. But the real power they have is that they have 81 in their unit. That is that is a large, large cavalry unit. Like the normal size is about 60, right? I think it's 60. So 81 is is very large. So well, well done, Pergamon, for that. <laughs> So they are going to the right. I, I don't understand why. They love to rearrange themselves. At the end of the day, they're still going to be charging into my phalanx's head first. So that's not a huge thing for me. Need to get these guys going soon. Doing some damage to that bodyguard. Okay, here they come. Go behind. Go, 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 go. They love to take their time on this. Go. Here they come. The Pergamese, Pergamese, I don't know what the, what the correct word is. Pergamon Cavalry Charge. Get in there. Look at them. They're actually shredding. They love to be able to get through, don't they? Okay, well, they broke straight away anyway. You guys come over here. Let's 
get my archers further back. Well, they're broken again. They will come back. It looks like they're fighting to the death. This unit's taken some damage. Truly taken some damage. How are they running along the front of the phalanx and you're not killing them? Come on, kill them, for God's sake. Ah, oh, the general has fled already. Good thing is with this small first army, they will not be able to retreat into the city. Hmm. Do I rearrange my boyos? I think so. Don't want to go up that hill though. That's the one issue we have right now. So let's just march forward. Are you going to withdraw? Please do not withdraw. We've had so many withdrawals from battle. Protus, get you there, my friend. Get there. I think that general will come back, honestly. Okay. Um, right. Uh, probably sped that up a little bit too much. Oh, God. Uh-oh. <laughs> Poor archers. Oh, what a trap. What a glorious trap we have just sprung upon them. They wasted all their charge on that as well. Okay, they are dying very quickly to the phalanx. That's what we like to see. Um, get behind. I ain't going near those hoplites with my uh, phalanxes. Okay, now come forward. Good. Good. Now let's get behind. They always love to just focus down one flank, which is good, I guess. But at the same time, it never seems to work for them. I want them to engage all our front line. So you guys come forward. Plug that gap. It's a bit of a too big a gap. Go, go, go. What is this in the back? Right, boys. Let's go. Pretty decent line apart from these guys who are going to take some damage, I think. Oof, good charge there. Really good charge. Now back. They love to focus down specific units. Right, you guys need to be in phalanx. I don't know what you're doing. Protus will get you out. Who are you? I don't know. Get you over there. Just get out of the way of all these boyos. Get back. Ah, my cavalry just stayed in the fight. What are they doing? My seeing cavalry over here as well. Guys, it's phalanx or nothing with you. Gonna have to rearrange my cavalry over to this flank. Now out, now out, boys, out. Yeah, this flank's going to fall. They're also getting through this gap here. Guys need to hold. You guys go fight them. Get there. Right. Uh, this poor unit's getting absolutely shredded. We need to save it. Come on, that should kill those Mycenaeans. Easy. Yeah, wavering now. Good. Oh, phalanx for the boys. Phalanx. Uh, I've screwed that one up as well. Are you guys in phalanx as well? Oh my god, stop getting out of fucking phalanx. You idiots. Uh, bro. I hate it when they leave phalanx. Just stop. Like your whole job is to be in phalanx. <laughs> like you, That's your whole job in, whole, in your whole life. And yet you leave it so easily. Like, are you even in phalanx as well? You are, but somehow these troops are through attacking you. I don't get it. Keep them. Right them. Oh, this battle is, is a mess. Bro. Right, we need to get around and attack these guys in the back. Or potentially those... I think we'll go for a quick charge in the back here and then move along. Get over there, boys. I'm going to get surrounded on this flank. Get 
Ah, oh, this this center's falling as well. You guys fight them. You guys fight them. All right, everyone out now. Out. So we've broken one unit. Some hoplites. Kill this Ambacti. Let's go for another charge on it. I think that's the best option right now. Halt. Archers, what are you doing right now? Cavalry. Okay, I think we've cleaned up this side. So, out here, boys. You guys fight them now. You guys fight them. Okay, this was a mess. This was not a great battle. And we're going to have to retrain the boys after this. So, let's go into there. Fight them. Some somehow they just well it was the flank but they they just broke through the middle of our phalanx ah oh, god damn it annoying come on boys into the back of them I think the Ambacti are pretty decent so cavalry okay we broke them good into those. Come on, let's go. Let's break them. Oh, we've got Agama over here. That's the problem. Cavalry, let's go. Get out. Oh, cavalry's taking a beating. You boys, let's go. Let's sandwich these boys. Protus might die here. Let's get a rally off. What are you doing? This way. Okay. That's one general dead. Good. That might mean they'll break. Okay, we've broken on this flank as well. Oh, God damn it, bro. Tougher battle than I was expecting, honestly. A lot tougher. Thought we'd have plenty enough troops to fight the Egyptians. We might, we still might do. <laughs> but it's less than we would have thought. Uh, let's uh, get in the back of these guys. We're getting sandwiched over here. But they're doing a good job of holding both sides off. Fight those Pergamon Hoplites. Okay. So we have the Agama over here. That's all we need to break. And then we've got these guys. And then we can chase down the enemy. Okay, we just need to get them below 15% as well. Okay, they are broken. Let's fight them. Right, we can go chase off, off these guys now. Actually, no, we can't. We've got these to deal with. Ah, they keep coming back. Oh, God damn, that was... That was trash from me, but... I don't know what else we could have done. I probably defended the flank better. Uh, I forgot that we... We're going to uh, start putting... Oh, yes. Sandwich time, boys. Let's enjoy the sandwich. Right. You guys there. You guys there. You guys there. And you guys there. And that should be good. Forgot that we were going to put a unit. Uh, two units in the back to defend the flanks. Ah, oh, we've killed enough of them. Oh, good, 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 good. I mean, the stats look better than what I felt the battle was. We still killed double what they did, but I don't know. It just didn't feel good. Like, it didn't feel like it was a great battle on our part. Some of these phalangites are having a terrible time of it. Oh, well. Anyway, I guess uh, it's fine. We got quite a lot of experience gained. So that's that's decent. Especially Spartan General there. He only inflicted 42 casualties. And he was in the fight for so long. Oh, well. Anyway, guys. I will see you back on the uh, campaign map. Here we are, guys. Ah, oh, so they do... Ah, oh, because they're inside the settlement. It doesn't matter. We should have killed as many as we could. Oh, God damn it. Suitable husband. He's 44. No, thank you. Flash flood. Not for us. 
Oh, that's a, a merchant interaction. That's not something I'm interested in. <laughs> Protoss got great commander. Very good. Very good. Hmm. Gortina built the shrine to Ares. Let's just build the paved roads. Doesn't matter on Gortina, but it's fine. Uh, Aegeon, Scriptorium. Hmm. Uh, let's build the irrigation here. It's not quite a, a huge city yet, and it needs some more population growth. Thermon, we got the army barracks. Yeah, so now we can uh, do the Nido, Nido Damoides. <laughs> I don't think the royal barracks give us anything else. I'm pretty sure they don't, you know. Would they give us the cavalry bodyguard, or would that be the Megas Hippodromos? I mean, I'm I'm willing to build that, honestly. Um, yeah, I'll build that because we need to start cranking out some cavalry bodyguards rather than these infantry ones. Infantry, infantry bodyguards are not ideal. Right, Apollonia, we got that. Let's go for let's go for the the uh, for that one. Skodra upgraded, good, nice to see. Let's go for that Agora. Argadava got the sewers. Let's go for the public baths. Sarmi Zegatuza. Um, Sarmi Zegatuza can get the armor up, which is pretty nice. But let's build those walls. Oh, no, we just built this. So, ah, oh, no, that's fine. Let's build the walls. I don't like having wooden walls in cities. Not for any specific reason other than just... <laughs> it doesn't look great. Uh, Tarentum, it's an aesthetic choice. Uh, Tarentum. Let's build the... Hmm. Build the Academy. We've got a guy there. Mytonium. We got Rhodes eventually. Nice. Oh, let's build up the walls here because we, it is a defensive area that we need. Let's build this. And you can then go to Tyras, which is a large city but needs a bit of population growth. And we will build the old fort here. And we'll take probably like you guys. And we'll build a fort here as well. Got a couple of forts there ready to go. You're on the way. You are going to go join. So you get in there. Mercenary army as a defensive army. That's pretty good because... Don't want to be wasting all our good troops as defensive armies, really. I'm honestly considering auto-resolving this. Agama. Do I risk it? Ah, yes, okay. Fantastic. And let's occupy. Should be good enough to occupy. And then we'll... Uh, Attack them. They should be fully dead now. Okay, no, they retreated. That's that's fine. We won't have... So, where do you guys go to Bylazora? Retrain. You really need to come back for retraining, don't you? So, what I'm thinking of doing... Sending these guys across to Lysomachia. These guys can come back for retraining. These guys will be able to defend Lysomachia... Probably against, say, like a 12 to 13 stack. It'll be tough, but I think they'll do a decent enough job. Um, these guys getting their retraining in, decent. And they're very nice to see. Protoss got a runner as well. Good. Clear Nymos, you're coming back to Pella. So we've got our defensive state set up over here. No one's getting through the forts. We can see whatever's coming. The only place we could go is there for a watchtower. See a bit more of this area. I think we will build a watchtower there first then. We'll, we'll build a watchtower about there. And maybe there. I bet probably there. That'll see us see more stuff for us. And then we'll come to Tyras. Ah, right then. Defensive up here. Sanka's got one more turn to go. Don't care about the Sarakis at all. They're taking forts. Oh, okay, they they uh, stopped Ancona, which is great for us. So these guys still exist. 
You're coming back to Pella, aren't you? So let's. Where's the quickest way to Pella? Probably through that way. Oh, you can nearly get to Pella already. So you guys, I want you to come back over here. You guys, where are we going to drop you? I think we'll drop you up near Ascalum. And you go for Ascalum. Keep taking this uh, eastern coast. In fact, what I should have done is got the crypt here off. That's the next thing I'm going to do. Let's get this crypt here ready to go. And they can uh, jump in Ancona. While I take these guys back for retraining. So, they didn't decide to take Capua. That's fine. I kind of want to just wait and take a defensive battle against this big army, though. Rather than face them on the field uh, as an attacking army. We've also got these guys to deal with. Hmm. Trenton Venusia. Yeah, cool. Plenty of decisions to be made, anyway. So... Let's just check the armies like we always do. Like we always do. So, Sparta. Building, 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 building. Good. We'll have a new army ready to go soon. The army in Lysomachia, for now, unless... Can we get some mercenary? We can. I, do you know what? With this army... I can't risk this army getting stuck in here. So, we will send it home straight away. If it gets stuck in there, we've got a big problem. Build that. And then I want to build the stone walls. So, you need to come back for Pella as well. We'll have a lot of armies retraining at Pella currently. Um, what can we recruit here? We can recruit these guys, so let's recruit them while we can. I'm happy to wait on Byzantium for a little bit. They will probably take it, but we'll take it back like we did... Once this uh, defensive army that Protus commands is ready to go again. I mean, I could send Seuss, but Seuss's army is pretty nice. I'd prefer to keep it going. Actually, Uaimon's army, but Uaimon is great commander. So, yeah, no, let's not waste Uaimon on defensive duties. Cool, 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 cool. So you're ready to go. You've taken and dropped off troops. Right then, well, I think we'll finish the episode with this field battle against these damn Romans. Triarii, Princapes, Astarte, Astarte, and Equites. I think we'll do fine. I think we'll do pretty well, honestly. And hopefully it's not a sally-out battle, but it won't be because it's a field battle. They're not sieging us down. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the battle map. Here we are, guys. Let's, uh, let's get some nice weather. Ah, there we are. That's nice. A lot easier for you guys to see. It will be. Fantastic. Nice, clean, open battle map. Very nice with some ruins in the background. Probably ruined by us in our marauding attempts to take on the Romans. This is a very healthy army. It's lovely to see. I'm honestly wanting to just pepper them. And uh, we will continue our attempts to group. Really don't think helps me too much though. For me personally, it's never been something that I've been too keen on. Ah, look at the Romans going in proper Roman, uh, proper Roman, uh, formation. So, I don't want them on fire shot, so hopefully they're not on fire shot. Are we going to get there before? I don't think this one, because we have, uh, more troops than them. I don't think this one we will have troops in the background to uh, control the flanks. Because we should be able to control them anyway. Ah, come on. You're so inaccurate, bro. Is there any point in you really <laughs> not doing a huge amount of damage, are you? Let's speed it up. See what they want to do. We I mean, hit someone then, I think. 
Okay, good. We're hitting every now and then. Yeah, doing some damage. Triarii would be my favourite target, but there are some Triarii in there. Okay, we hit them ones then. Oh, we only killed one. Right, slow it down. Let's uh, march a little bit further forward. Let's uh, make sure we're nice and wide, wider than them. Then you boys, let's get you there. Cavalry. Cavalry. Let's go. Okay, they're moving again, which I don't know why. Archers should be plenty able to fire now. I'm hoping we can goad them into attacking us. See whether we're killing any of our own men. We are a little bit. Oh, this is the thing. Why? Why do this? Why? It's just stupid. It makes no sense. <laughs> like, why do that? Just being dumbos, bro. All right, let's get that. Get that. Kill this Equites, hopefully, if we can. Would be nice. Right, I think you guys stop firing now. Into the back of that Triarii. Probably should get the archers to stop firing now as well. Now out, Cav. Oh, we got rid of that, that guy quite quickly. Oh, who are these? That's a Prinkapes. We can get rid of that Prinkapes nicely. Oh, we thinned down that Triarii quite well. Oh, I can't really risk moving you. Where's you? Let's bring you up here. Shaken. Alright, kill that general. And we'll uh, break these guys quite easily. Back over here. Right, now you guys face the other way. If you can. There we are, that's better. So back of that Prinker pays. You guys fill this gap. There we are. Right, now back over here. Out, out them spots. Doing some serious damage over here now, guys. I don't think we're going to lose too many troops. Hopefully, anyway. Now you guys face them. Now out. Cavalry's hardly taking damage. This, that one anyway. The one with the three in. Good. To get you out. Hoping they don't fight to the death. This Hastati is. Now you get out, General. General! Guys in there. How many have we killed? Not quite enough yet. There. There. Anyone else? There. Uh, you guys come and take your vengeance for your fallen foes. Fallen uh, friends, sorry, should I say? Not fallen foes. Get them. I think we've just destroyed them. <laughs> That's what I like to see. You guys can run. You can't hide. We've got plenty enough troops to continue the advance. Well done, guys. Decent, decent, decent. Decent results. Any... No experience. Ah. It's unfortunate. When you have such a dominant battle, you never get experience, which is just upsetting. <laughs> so upsetting. Uh -oh. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the campaign map. Here we are, guys. Ah, uh, Fantastic. Right. Yeah, we're pretty good to, to continue the advance up this side, aren't we? Um, so I'm thinking we go... Oh, we could double-team Rome. Let's go. Croton is on low. It's already... It's quite happy. Get you in, Croton. I'm just worried about these Carthaginians. They are our allies. Oh, wait. No. That's regimes controlled by Carthage. 
Oh, but they look very... Like, look, you have an enemy here, garbage. Please, don't attack me. Really don't care about fighting you. It doesn't matter to me. You're pretty weak as well. Not even taking out the Masasili like we've seen. Like we've seen. Um, yeah, we need to go and get... Well, why don't we get these guys straight away? Get you there. And then you need to go up to Ancona and we'll... Uh, Jump the Ancona guys on. We've got a lot of armies going for retraining now. So we're going to be a little bit of a deficit for, for a couple of turns. In terms of our armies being on the front line. I'm just wondering. Clear Nymos's army. Could you go and deal with that? It's going to take you ages anyway. So. No. I think we send Seuss to go and deal with it. And once he has. He'll come back and go towards Rome. That's fine. Well, guys, I think that's everything we're going to do today. Uh, quite enjoyable episode. Really enjoyed that. Beating the Romans back once again. Beat Pergamon back, but then they came back. And then we beat them back again. Um, and we beat the Suebi as well. So, good few, uh, good few battles we've had there. As well as some nice campaign building. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like, please do subscribe, all that good stuff. It really, really does help the channel out. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you again on the next video.